I think I've learned that the only person that you should ever try to impress is yourself. <laughs> oh, and how do you impress yourself? Uh, by being kind to myself when you know, things don't go quite right. Um, being realistic about what's possible, I guess, in the world as well. And knowing that nothing is perfect. Like, good enough is good enough. I guess, as long as you kind of like roll with the punches as well. Don't let one thing get you down. Uh, just keep on moving forward and that way you can just punch through it eventually and get onwards with what you want to do in your life. Like soldiering on. Basically, yeah. You're going to end up feeling shit some days, but the best thing that you can do is just look towards the future and figure out if that's what you want to do, you've got to do the bullshit to get there. And remind yourself you've got a bright future. Exactly. Seen, yeah. Not, <laughs> it's the best way you can kind of go about it. Thank you, Jelly. Right. No worries. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's better to be embarrassed than to waste your life. And what makes you say that, that it's better to be embarrassed than to waste your life? Um, because I'm 25 now and when I was 21 I wasted a lot of time thinking about what people think and now that I can do what I want I feel like every day is exciting, every day is an adventure. Like roller skating right now or... Can you show us a groovy... I'll try, I'll yeah. try. Yeah. I'm just learning today. She's off. <laughs> Bye guys! Bye! Bye! Don't worry about where you're going. It's not really something you should think about too much. Life kind of takes you in all sorts of different directions and, and we get caught up in the destination when it's the journey that matters. I, I think a lot of people get too caught up in what their life would, should ideally look like and you know we shouldn't be always thinking in ideals, we should just be yeah, I mean, yeah, grateful for what we have. I think practicing gratefulness is a great thing, but um, I think more about uh, taking things as they come and going back to what I originally said, not being too worried about um, where you're going, what other people are doing. I, yeah, I think people get too worried about that. You know, maybe they, they, they don't feel like their life's really going somewhere. Being an entrepreneur, for instance, it's not for everyone. But then you might see a lot of stuff that will push people to think that that's what they should be doing, yeah. you know? There's only a very niche group of people who should actually be entrepreneurs, you know? It's okay to, I don't know, work as a retailer. It just doesn't matter at the end of the day. Don't get caught up in, in how everyone else views what you're doing. What I've learned is that young kids are very resilient in life mm -hmm. and do not underestimate them. the things they come up with they're life-changing in their life and also the older can learn about it because uh, most of the people they say I'm, I've, I work in hospitality mm -hmm. and I went to some of the you know the school um, career expo mm -hmm. and when I met some kids they were so they knew exactly what they wanted but their parents had other ideas